Hello there, Leos. Welcome. I just want to preface this reading before I start. Um, I'm actually having a lot of difficulties um, with your reading. I feel like the energy is a little bit scattered and it's a little bit hard for me to read, okay? And in particular, it's hard for me to read because I, I don't know if this energy is coming from... Um, it's like the energy I'm picking up if it's like from the person that you're dealing with or or it's coming out from you So let me just relay some of the things that I saw and some of the messages that are coming in and then um, We'll go from there. Okay, so hopefully whichever side resonates with you then grab onto that because I was having a really hard time Trying to figure out, you know, where's the Leo uh, person fitting in this um, first of all this whole spread we don't have a single wands card okay the wand the fire energy it, it, it doesn't even exist in this uh, spread so it's predominantly water is predominantly emotions and it's predominantly uh, security oriented okay so I feel like that's why it was really hard for me to pinpoint which side of the coin you're on um, so let me talk first about the the image that came through um, it made me a little bit sad so the the image that i saw was like a black and white it looks very 1950s um you know type of a feel to it um and you have this man he's wearing a suit and he's at a payphone okay i don't even know if they have payphone or he might have had to like um call like an operator in order for the operator to get him into contact with whoever it is so he's kind of like at a payphone he's smoking a cigar and uh, he's he's definitely has already dialed somebody's number and he's listening for the ring and it's, it's like a very very loud echoey deafening uh, phone ring okay and then on the other end I hear this woman she's in a kitchen I hear rustling and she's in a kitchen she has children and um, she has children running around her like around her legs and then just you know uh, running around the kitchen and she picks up the phone and she goes hello and he doesn't respond it's it's almost as if he's calling her just to hear her voice just to you know um just to be reminded of her voice just so he doesn't forget or or just to hear her because i feel like there's a significant space and distance between the two of them and i feel like you know she is definitely somebody that has moved on with her life that has you know possibly a new husband uh children in tow and so her life in this you know domesticated uh scene is very different from his life where he's possibly still a, a bachelor in a business suit smoking a cigar and you know in a more outdoorsy environment so i just feel like you know there's definitely um something like that um like time has passed people have moved on um changes in life circumstances but you know once again there there's contact there's like you know this man reaching out to her by telephone okay and then um uh, and then there's a, also um let me see yeah there was also another message um i see like um an envelope it's like a it's like a, a letter okay it's sealed in an envelope it has like a sender's address and the return address on the bottom right it, it has the sender's address and I'm sorry the recipient's address on on the bottom of it and I just see it shuffle back and forth and then in the process of getting shuffled back and forth it was stamped and then restamped and then it just says like return to sender because it's not deliverable okay and then the other thing I'm also sensing as well, when I was um, looking at the man with the phone call and then looking at the letter, that's kind of like shuffle back and forth. Um, I just feel like it was like, there needs to be an apology or there needs to be a conversation that happens between two people, but too much time has passed too much time has passed to make it very awkward or very uncomfortable or very like um, ineffective to 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 drag it up again to revive a situation or to to um, elicit 
you know, some type of a conversation. Okay, so I just feel like too much has been said. Um, damage done almost. Okay, so those are the messages that I'm feeling here. And um, I, I feel in general that, you know, this is a very strong like love relationship type of a spread. And, and I don't do love relationship types of reading, but I feel for you guys uh, going through this month of November, it is a lot more about, you know, a major uh, relationship in your life where something needs to be fixed. And then for others of you, it's like a, a, a relationship or a connection with another person who might have been on the periphery of your life, might have been just on the outskirts of your life. And for whatever reason, you know, you, you had a lot on your plate, you kind of try to move on, or, you know, you had other things that you were on dealing with, but there might've been a sense of guilt, a sense of like discomfort that comes in and kind of like engulfs you whenever you think about this one person that has been on the peripheral, um, you know, on the outskirts of your life. And I feel like, you know, you, you do want to fix it. And you're just like, oh, I can't do it right now. I have too many things on my mind. One day I'll fix it. One day I'll fix it. And then before you know it, it's like time has passed, you know, um, circumstances might have changed and it, it makes that rift bigger and bigger and bigger. And it gets to the point where today, you know, in the month of November, it's almost like how do I even begin to breach the topic how do I even begin to where do I even you know intercept like where where do I even come in where do I even begin how do we even approach this situation should I even approach this situation should I even communicate so I feel like it's a, a situation where I just feel like there is a lot of time. There has been a lot of time in passing, a lot of distance. Possibly too much has been said, too much has been done. And now it's like, how do we begin the uh, the process of mending? Okay, how do, where do we even begin? And so that's what I'm sensing. And um, I honestly can't tell which side you are on. And so, Usually in a reading, if I can't tell which side the, the sign I'm reading for is on, I think of it as a mirror reflection. You both are probably thinking the same thing, okay? And that, that's like my way of coming to terms with it. Like you both are probably echoing the same sentiments, uh, feeling the same things, feeling the same way about one another. And I just feel like, you know, it's, it's been very, very difficult for you and the other person to kind of like arrive at a resolution. Okay. So that's the first thing. Um, I'm going to talk about the cards now because, um, I feel like the first image speaks to possibly the, the first two cards and then the, the rest of the images kind of blends in. Okay. So let me just, um, I, I feel like somebody is um, there. Somebody is feeling a little bit like on the outs. Okay, um, maybe left out in the cold. Maybe um, there was a misunderstanding. Maybe there was just like a, a, a break in communication or a break in the uh, in the situation. I just feel like there's a break, and it, it felt almost like both parties knew it was for the best that's what it feels like a parting of the ways a mutual parting of the ways but there was also a, a, a lot of like unfinished business associated with it that's what it feels like to me it feels like something is done but something is done in a very incomplete manner okay so it feels as if things were not concluded in a way where you know it's like getting a piece of scissor and snipping it breaking it um, once and for all. It just felt to me like something was complete, but at the same time, it's very incomplete. It's a really weird feeling. I just feel like both parties were just like, I'm glad we're not communicating anymore, but at the same time, we never got the closure. Um, 
I'm glad I'm not seeing that person anymore, but at the same time, I miss them. And uh, I'm glad that we're not communicating, but at the same time, I want to hear their voice. So I just feel like there's a situation here where it's very confusing. And it has brought so much murkiness and confusion that it was hard for you and the other person to, to like grab hold of it, to understand it, to make sense of it. And so leaving the connection alone made it easier for you and the other person to go about your day, to go about your business. But then when you're no longer distracted with the daily events, with the things that you had to do in your own life in order to progress, when they're no longer distracted with the things in their life, the, 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 the nagging, really strong nagging feeling of nostalgia, missing the other person, uh, wanting to kind of like reach a resolution, those feelings start to gnaw at you. And I feel like it's starting to gnaw at the other person as well. And so that's what I'm sensing, okay? It, it's a very incomplete, but at the same time, uh, complete type of a feeling. And the reason why I say that is um, both of these cards, okay? Same energy, same color schemes, okay? So we have here the Page of Swords, Communication, and the Page of Cups. I usually think of this card as like, wanting to make an apology okay i feel like somebody wants to kind of speak up somebody wants to say i'm sorry somebody wants to reach out somebody wants to like extend an offer of friendship like hey how are you doing are you okay you know what have you been up to catching up over tea over coffee wanting to make some type of a <clears throat> an emotional reconnection okay and then it's like testing the waters and then see where things go so it's like wanting to, you know, pick up that phone and dial that person's number and just be like, hey, remember me? Uh, I know it's been a really long time, but I was just thinking about you and, you know, what are you up to? And then from there, see where the conversation leads. And then from there, if the interests are still stirred up from their side or from your side, then, you know, take it from there. So because of that, I feel like this is a very shy, you know, one foot in, one foot out the door, um, bashful um, type of an energy. And so it leads me to think that you might be looking at somebody that you sort of like, but you're not really, like you don't know everything there is to know about the other person, so you're not sure, okay? And then the person that you might be dealing with, with this Page of Swords energy, this is somebody who's also looking at you. And I feel like you're dealing with somebody who has a little bit more fire under their belt. They're a little bit more bold, a little bit more like um, direct. And I feel like if you're coming across as very shy, very reserved, hesitant, and kind of uh, indecisive then they're looking at you as if you might not want to be with them you might not you know hold them up on a pedestal you might not um it, it's almost like you're they're misinterpreting your non-verbal communication as disinterest whereas you're trepidatious and you're shy and you're hesitant about making an offer because you kind of need a little bit more encouragement so that's what i'm sensing and once again you know this energy can be flipped but i do feel because all the ener water energy that's showing up in your spread i do feel that there's a shyness about you that i have never seen in in all the other months that i've done readings for you so i feel like there's a situation here where you know it it has the I'm looking at the crown okay it's a flower so I, I, I feel almost like it has the potential to be a budding blossoming relationship it never got off the ground and uh, there's time and there's a uh, room and there's definitely uh, an interest from both parties to make this um, this connection thrive to reconnect but I feel like both parties are on guard both parties are hesitant and both parties are 
not able to understand each other. There's this keep. I keep seeing this mirroring energy. What happened in the past was this: we have the moon, and then we have the five of pentacles. Basically, the moon indicates to me a situation where there's a lot of confusion. Okay. It's like, what exactly happened? Why did we start? Uh, why did we stop talking? Um, why did we have a falling out? And, you know, try as you may, you might not even remember how things descended into chaos. Okay. How, how things fell apart. Or I, I feel like there was a lot of confusion between, you know, what the other person said and how you interpreted things, what you said and how they interpreted things. There was also a lot of confusion regarding like, you know, how do they feel about me? Why are they behaving this way? And so, you know, the mirroring effect, the moon is all about murky uh, emotions, okay? It's very, very unclear. And um, I'm drawn to the clouds here in the background. And what I see is murky water, okay? Murky emotions. Um, a lot of uh, hesitation and reservation from both parties, okay? And I feel, you know, it, it feels to me like um, one person might have um, gotten out of like a really serious relationship and was just only uh, dating. And then they, they weren't like 100% invested. And so the relationship, you know, it was like, it was never treated properly it was never valued so it, it could be like a rebound type of a situation where someone got out of a, a very significant relationship they weren't ready to date but they were just looking to have fun and so i feel like expectations were not clearly discussed between you and another person and then the next day you know no like the the day after nobody calls nobody called to follow up and so it's one of those things where it's like in the back of your mind, you meant to do it, you meant to call, you meant to get in touch, but time has a way of uh, slipping away when, you know, when we're busy with life, okay? So I, I feel like it was one of those situations. And then I also feel like the other person felt very used, felt very left out in the cold, five of pentacles, okay? lack of refuge, lack of support, just felt very, just felt like very um, undervalued. And, and so I, I feel here there was a situation where one person feels like the other person did something, one person felt left out in the cold by another person. And I just feel like things were taken out of context, things were misunderstood and this was a, a, a situation where a simple phone call a simple letter a simple text message a simple apology something very very simple could resolve a lot of that misunderstanding but for whatever reason you or the other person just never have the time okay it's not about and i honestly feel like the two of you were very, very busy, were possibly, you know, like um, busy with a lot of responsibilities, with family, with children, with life in general, and just busy with a lot of important events. And so no one actually made the time to really have this conversation, to send that text, to write that letter, to, to, to smooth things out. And so... I feel like there's an opportunity coming back around, coming back into the picture so that these things can be fixed because I do see you gazing at the past and wondering, you know, I wonder what so-and-so is doing. And then I also feel like they, they were very, very, very interested in you. I feel like they've turned a little bit cold based on whatever situation transpired between the two of you. Okay. And then uh, when this card came out, the Five of Pentacles, it's basically, um, it's, a, it's like a full warning, okay? Um, in life, we can never apologize enough, okay? And I feel like most people don't agree with that, okay? Like only apologize when you're wrong. But I feel like there are so many people that um, 
offend others without meaning to. And, you know, if we, ha there, there are so many situations where we commit like um, social faux pas, where we do things or say things or, or take things out of context or even say things um, without thinking about who our audience is. And in the process, we're, we're you know, unintentionally offending a lot of people. So I, I, I definitely feel like an apology, if it is sincere, it's uh it's never belated and it's it's never like too late and it's it's never you know it, it's like let's not be stingy with apologies if we feel like we did something wrong if there's like even a little bit and a tinge an ounce of maybe i messed up you know then it's really important to offer that apology because i feel like you know um I, I do see there's a situation here where somebody feels left out, left out in the cold. Somebody felt neglected. Somebody felt like used, okay? And so if you're dealing with a situation like this, uh, Leos, definitely by all means, you know, reach out because I definitely feel that as, as um, when we progress into the month of November, the early part of the month, Things are very, very welcome, possibly like the first week, okay? The apology is very welcome. The contact is very welcome. The communication is very, very welcome. So I just feel like this connection, this communication, whatever it is, the wanting to revive it, wanting to make sense of it, wanting to smooth it out, it's very, very welcomed, especially for the first, very first week of November. As we progress through the latter half, I do sense that there is a situation here where it's like the deed has been done, okay? And that's when we head into this Five of Pentacles and the Tower uh, energy. And the Five of Pentacles, once again, feeling left out in the cold. There is a situation that's broken. It's like a broken plate, right? I'm drawn to um, that that poem. It's like a children's book. The author did uh, the Giving Tree, and then there's um, he also has like a collection of poems and illustrations. And one of the the poems that that jumped to jumped out or came to mind was uh, the one where the kid didn't want to do the dishes, and then he says that uh, if you don't want to do the dishes, then you know pretend that you're breaking them that you 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 drop them you have butter fingers and then if you keep dropping them and breaking them then your parents won't make you do the dishes anymore that's what it feels like to me it's like a broken dish okay it's like um i i feel almost like intentionally um intentionally showing or displaying a behavior that you're not good at something just to avoid having that responsibility put on you okay so like oh i don't want to do the dishes i'm going to break all the plates so that my parents think i'm bad at doing dishes and they will never assign me that responsibility okay i'm not very good with money so i'm just gonna spend here and there and then you know just um tell people i'm bad with money so that i will never have to manage uh, resources okay or like i'm not good at being a relationship partner so i'm going to go around breaking everybody's hearts just so that i can maintain that reputation that i'm not you know uh, I'm, I'm not going to fall for anybody so i definitely feel like somebody has a really tough exterior and they do things um that they don't mean they say things that they don't mean and they don't have they don't realize that they don't realize that they're hurting the people that really care about them. So I, I feel like there's definitely that energy coming through. It could be coming from their end or your end. And then we have the tower as well. Um, both of these things are broken, okay? Broken sand dollar, the tower, a fracture in a foundation, okay? Um, it's, um, it's sinking into this body of water. And it's also exhibiting symptoms that not only is it sinking, it's kind of, um, leaning to the side so it's like crashing and breaking okay so i i feel like there's a situation here where this behavior 
might permeate through other areas of your life, not just, you know, only in the love relationship department. It might drive away the people that you care about, family, children, uh, friends, um, colleagues. So I, I feel like there definitely is some damage control, okay? I also feel like there, you, you or you're dealing with somebody who is like not very comfortable in the realm of emotions, okay? And what I have with this card is I do have uh, Cancer, I do have Aquarius, I do have all the signs. Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio even. You might be dealing with somebody who's really uncomfortable with expressing how they feel, with um, public display of affection, with even expressing, you know, vulnerability, expressing tenderness, expressing um, how much they need you, okay? So I feel like they might, um, rather than saying, you know, hey, i really like you to stay the, the minute you, you know, you're like, oh, I need to go home, I have to work tomorrow. The minute you get up to, to, to go, they're just like, why are you leaving me? So it's like the, they, they might have some abandonment issues. And so whenever they express, they, they don't know how to express emotions in a healthy way. They don't know how to say like, oh, I'd really like for you to stay. You know, it would mean a lot for me um, if you stay. Rather than saying that, they, they kind of lash out and they're like, oh, you're leaving me already? So I feel like it's somebody who's very, very defensive. And, you know, it can be very difficult dealing with people who are very defensive. And defensive people, even when you come, come at them with, like, love and affection, they always perceive it as, um, as an attack for whatever reason, you know? And so when you're dealing with people who are very defensive, you know, whether or not you know it, it is always safer to over explain, okay? It's always safer to say, um, you know, I have to go because I have to wake up really, really early tomorrow, rather than just saying like, oh, you know, I, I, I gotta go, I, I just need to go. So I feel like there's a situation here where over explaining might actually be in your best interest. Because I feel like there's a uh, communication that's not getting through between you and another person. And I mean, on, a, on an everyday level, miscommunication is very annoying. But more so in November, because we have a Mercury retrograde, where communication is going to break down. Communication is going to go awry. So in order to be preemptively um, productive with our communication, it's just so much safer to over explain, okay? It's so much safer. So when you text that, that line that, you know, I, I have to go at this certain amount of time or at this specific time, you might want to put in a because I have to, you know, wake up early tomorrow or I have to uh, do this work project and I have to submit it tomorrow. So I, I feel like, you know, providing a little bit more context when we communicate, it might actually resolve a lot of potential crises that might, you know, inadvertently creep up during the month of November. And so erring on the side of over explaining rather than under explaining or brushing things off or the uh, working under the assumption that, oh, the other person should know what I'm talking about or should know what I mean. I feel like we can't really take it for granted this month, okay? Um, a lot of the signs had the, the tower card for this month. And so I feel there's definitely a major, major shakeup in significant relationships for many signs across the board, not just you, Leos. But I do feel for you, there's definitely a lot of redemption here because the cards that are coming through are very, very positive, okay? There's a lot of like transformative potential as it comes, as it relates to, you know, a significant relationship in your life, a significant other, a very important person that you might have been estranged from. Somebody might have felt, uh, felt left out and, you know, um, and the other person might not have any idea as to what they did, how their actions affected the other person. Sorry, I have to take a sip of water. So what I feel here with this tower, it's like there, there's definitely a situation where somebody felt left out in the cold. They felt neglected. They felt used and thrown out. Okay, so, so keep in mind, this is a perception. This is, is, 
it's not something that you did or it's not something the other person did intentionally but somebody felt like they were used and left out in the cold and once they embody that energy oh that person used me um they they um they kind of um perceive all future communication from that person as oh they're coming back because they want to use and abuse me again so they get very defensive they they might become a little bit antagonistic and that is why you know if this is uh if this reason reading resonates with you early on i would urge you to try to fix things okay don't let things escalate um err on the side of over explaining err on the side of sending that extra long text if you need to in order to appease or in order to kind of like um we're not here to appease anybody but i do feel like just for the sake of you know just for the respect of the human interaction it's really important to um it's really important to explain and and you know um be clear about our intention okay i can't go to the park with you today because you know i have this last minute work project i need to 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 work on uh i know we made plans to go to the movies but i can't today because you know it's rainy and you know i totaled my car whatever the the situation is um err on the side of you know giving the other person full information okay to avoid miscommunication to avoid this type of situation from escalating and i i definitely feel like this is not just a relationship um advice this is more like in all of your interpersonal uh dealings and in interpersonal communication because i i just feel like you know that letter shuffle back and forth letters mean news messages important communication okay um official communication in, in, information that is really really important because somebody took the time to write it down put it in an envelope put a stamp on it go to the post office to send out this thing somebody took the time to do it so just out of respect for that person in the time and 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 then you see this letter get shuffled back and forth around and then the communication or the message never got to the other person and it was returned to sender. So that's 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 why I feel like there's communication here in contact but it never went through, okay? I feel as well somebody might be trying to get a hold of you, might have been trying to reach you while you were sleeping. that message came up really strongly it's a sleeping doe okay so it's like while you were sleeping some key important messages came into the picture and i feel like you know if you felt left out if you felt like the other person never cared about me they never reached out they never inquired as to how i was doing and then you know you get defensive and then you just like turn away and and never communicate with them again when when their messages start coming through and then vice versa somebody feels like left out in the cold you might have um contacted them once and you're just like oh they're ignoring me and then you know never do it again i just feel like there's so much room for like messages not being sent messages returned to sender messages not delivered okay and then phone calls like somebody placing a call wanting to speak to the other person but not being able to work up the courage or somebody like calling and then you know gets very tongue tied and then the the person on the receiving end thinks like someone is like you know doing a prank call so i i just feel like this is energy that it, it's like unnecessary hassle that doesn't need to happen okay so make that communication reach out because i feel like you want to okay this is just like testing the water okay i wonder what's up with that person i wonder what they're up to i wonder you know uh if they're married i wonder how many children they have i wonder i wonder and then the communication just never happens and then i do see a major change here we do have the ace of cups 
okay and then we have the star so i mentioned before that you know there's a huge potential for uh things turn it's like a situation turning around okay a, a major turnaround a major revival a major like reconciliation that can be had we have the ace of cups which is like the holy grail okay this is like the best one of the best cards in the deck it's right next to the other best card in the deck the star so a major healing revival inspiration uh love being re-injected into a situation okay so i definitely feel like there was a massive misunderstanding miscommunication and it takes very very little effort it's just like a nudge in the right direction somebody needs to let their pride down somebody needs to let the guard down somebody needs to just be like hey i know you're mad at me but i just want to make sure you're okay okay like that goes a really long way it's like i know you're mad at me i know i wasn't on my best behavior but did you get home okay um you know i just need to check to make sure that you're okay so if you're looking for an icebreaker if you're looking for you know how do i approach the situation maybe you should start right there okay just like state the facts okay i know we haven't talked in like five months but I was just thinking about you the other day because I saw this thing that reminded me of you. How have you been doing? Or how, how are you? Or like, you know, so, so I, I feel like these are just stating the facts. It, it's going to open a lot of doors to kind of like revive the situation, okay? We have here the uh, Ace of Cups and the Star. So this combination, I, I almost feel like it's a destined type of a relationship, okay? It's a relationship where you're divinely guided to pursue it, to kind of like dip your hand in that cappuccino, to dip your hand in that water and to to kind of like partake from this because it's very therapeutic. It's very healing. It is uh, really good for you. And I, I feel like it teaches us like, you know, in the process of being with another person and working through issues with another person, it teaches us how to be a better relationship partner. It teaches us how to, you know, open up, how to learn to communicate. So every relationship that we get into, it's preparing us for that ultimate relationship where we can like be completely open and honest and truthful and just considerate of another person that we're dealing with. So I, I feel like there is a major maturation process. We are going from a page of cups to a knight of cups. Okay, this is like trepidatious, shy, insecure. And then we're going to this situation where it's like, you know, he's got his armor on, okay? He's coming in prepared. He's coming into a love situation. And I almost feel like preparing to, to fight for it, preparing to, you know, uh, not wimp out, preparing to say what's on his mind, preparing, just, just being very prepared to do whatever it takes in order to make the situation right. For some of you, there might've been like a, an estranged um, relationship where somebody felt like you didn't fight for me you didn't put in the effort you um, you didn't prove yourself and I feel like you understand that no this, this relationship might be on uh, heading towards you know like it, it might be veering off track or I didn't put enough effort into this situation and now I'm ready, I'm ready to fight for it, okay? And uh, I keep hearing like, while you were sleeping, somebody was too busy doing like, uh, taking care of their own lives, their own career, their, somebody just was just like constantly very, very tired. Um, and they might've taken the relationship for granted. And I feel like the partner is coming in and it's just like, I, I, I feel very alone in this relationship and then I, I feel like somebody is like ready to really pick up the slack, ready to really fight for this relationship because they feel like if they don't, the partner might walk out away from this situation and find another person to be with. So I, I definitely feel here it's like fighting for, it is worth fighting for, it's worth repairing, it's worth fixing. And it's definitely in your hearts of hearts. I, I definitely feel this situation can be revived, can be fixed. 
but I, I, I feel like whoever was not putting in the effort in the past or might not have um, had the time or might have been like, oh, I'm too busy for all of that. The work is finally being put in and somebody is really gearing for battle and ready to fight for this relationship, okay? Um, I feel more than anything, uh, Leos, there is an apology here. Either the other person, if, if they demand an apology, you know, and if there's a, a semblance of truth in whatever they're saying, if you feel like, you know what, they, they might have a point, offer that apology, okay? I'm not about fake apologies, but I feel like if there's like a, a semblance of truth, right? Offer that apology. So this is kind of like really putting yourself in their shoes, okay? So for example, um, and I, I've used this uh, example a lot with clients. So um, let, let's say, right, um, a child, okay, a, a child, like a, you, if you have a baby and it's crying in front of you, right, it, it's crying, the, the child's crying in front of you. And it's, it's not like fake tears, it's like real tears, like for whatever reason, you walk into a room and the baby's crying. It doesn't matter if the baby is crying, like uh, because it, it, it fell and hurt itself, he or she fell and hurt her or himself. It doesn't matter if like, you know, a bee flew into the room and stung the child, right? It doesn't matter if, you know, the, the child like bumped his head or whatever. It doesn't matter why the child is crying. The fact is that the child is crying. And so what we do as a human being is we pick up that child and try to console him or her, right? Because it doesn't matter at the end of the day, uh, hurt feelings are hurt feelings. Okay, it doesn't matter what happened. It doesn't matter who caused it. Somebody felt left out in the cold. Somebody felt abandoned. Somebody felt like, you know, um, and it could be you or it could be them. And if, if, it is, if it is the other person that is saying this to you, you know, like you, you left me high and dry. You left me out in the cold. It doesn't matter what happened, right? the way they f they feel is real they feel hurt they feel betrayed they feel unappreciated so it doesn't even matter what happened and I, I feel like an apology is in store and then on the flip side if this is you you definitely should get that apology you sh definitely should demand it and if they're not able to you know come to terms with the fact that Hurt feelings are hurt feelings. It doesn't matter what came before. All it matters is that the feelings are there and the feelings happen. It's like, um, you know, like um, dropping a plate onto the ground and the plate is broken, right? No matter how much you try to use like porcelain glue to glue all the pieces back together, damage has already been done. And so I'm seeing a situation where there's an aftermath of it, okay? where it's like it's messy it's it's hard to like even know like where do we even where do we even begin what exactly even happened none of those things matter anymore because it's like damage is done one person feels a certain way and so an apology is in store that's what I'm, I'm sensing here okay so i hope that reading is helpful for you and i hope that the messages resonate with you and i do hope no matter what that you know um you can uh, f that you find this information helpful for you in some way as we navigate the month of November okay so I do wish you the best and um, I have a link in the description box below for those who are interested in a reading um, I have a link for a psychic her name is Bridget she is based out of California and she's very good at her craft I highly recommend you get a reading from her and um, I will be back in the December uh, reading for your December um, monthly reading. Okay. So take care of yourself. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon.